ship sailed into harbor after 15 months at sea. The captain hit the tavern with his crew of 53. After drinking up their pay, they staggered through the town. But all the inns and public houses turned the sailors down. The captain said, fear not me lads, you all can come with me. I live just round the corner, and you all can stay for free. But when the captain's wife awoke upon the break of day, they say that you could hear her wailing clear to Botany Bay. She said there's semen all around the bed and semen on the floor. Semen in the bathroom and behind the closet door. There's semen in the fireplace and semen in the hall. The living room is carpeted with semen wall to wall. There's semen in the entryway and semen on the stair. And worst of all, there's even semen in me underwear. There's some behind the larder and beneath the table too. I do believe your semen got into me Irish do. There's semen here in front of me and semen in the rear. My god, there's even semen hanging from the chandelier. There's semen on the windowsill and semen in the yard. The semen even left a stain upon the St. Bernard. And although I am a patient wife, tis more than I can bear to wake up in the morning with your semen in my hair. I ne'er again do wish to see thee darken up my door. So clean up all your semen and come round my way no more. So clean up all your semen and come round my way no more. Yeah, yeah all right, man. More feeling, buddy. Friday night, I just got off work. My boss man was such a jerk. So after work, I went to his house. Ate his wife's pussy and kicked his ass. Eating pussy and kicking 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 ass. Kickin ass. That's what I do. I celebrated with some alcohol Standing in the unemployment line I see this young girl's bush And said it's breakfast time Security guard said you can't do that here So I kicked him in the nuts Before I drank a beer Girl at the counter said Do you want a job? And I said okay And then I ate a pussy Eating pussy And kicking ass Sure. Pussy in the night, yeah. I eat a lot of pussy and I get into a fight. Uh. Yeah, all right. My that good. Thursday night, I was feeling pretty great. I was walking past the honky tonks on Broadway. I see this young girl, she smiled at me, so I took her back to my place and I paid the fee. Took off the skirt, I knew that something was wrong Oh, there's supposed to be a pussy, this girl had a dong I was bored, and since I'd paid anyway I sucked his dick, and then I kicked his ass Sucking dick, and kicking ass Sucking dick, kicking ass That's right Sucking dick, and kicking ass Sucking dick, kicking ass Pussy sucking dick and kicking ass. Come on, buddy. Pussy sucking dick and kicking ass. Pussy sucking dick and kicking ass. 
sucking dick and kicking ass. Eating pussy sucking dick and kicking ass. God damn it! Fucking play, motherfucker! Where'd everybody go? God damn it. This song about a statue. Maybe some of you have seen the statue. It was, uh. Down, uh, down I-75 between Cincinnati and Dayton, Ohio. It was a 60-foot uh, statue of a man from his chest up. He has arms up in the air like this, kind of a pale yellow color. And it looked like it was going to come up out of the ground to attack the expressway. <laughs> so consequently, your initial reaction the first time you saw the statue and who the statue was, was the same word. <laughs> and driving along peacefully, it's easy to go, Jesus! Now, the, uh, the statue was owned by the uh, Solid Rock Baptist Church. There was a big uh, pole barn uh, mega church there behind it. Uh, the, uh, it was a big advertising sign for it. The uh, preacher and his wife also owned a, a Wild West village on one side. They had a uh, sod farm on the other. They have a, a big swap meet called Trader's World that covers both sides of the expressway like a big thyroid gland. And, um, it's called Trader's World, so I guess uh, Judas has a place there too, so that's kind of nice. So. so <laughs> In southern Ohio, just north of Cincinnati, I beheld a vision next to the expressway. I was a 60-foot Jesus with his hands in the air. Looked like he's carved out of butter, just like at the state fair. Big butter Jesus. Sweet cream Jesus, oh country fresh Jesus, unsalted Jesus, oh promise Jesus, imperial Jesus, I can't believe it's not Jesus, holy oh Lord, when you see him from his chest up, like he's about to do a backflip. Like he scored a touchdown Or maybe melting or about to drown You know I've been to the state fair I've seen a calf made out of golden corn Stephen Hawking out of string cheese And the virgin out of olives Big butter Jesus Sing with me, sweet cream, here we go Sweet cream cheese, old country fresh Oh, country fresh Jesus, unsalted, unsalted Jesus. Oh, promise, oh, promise Jesus, imperial, imperial Jesus. Can't believe it, I can't believe it's not Jesus. Holy, oh, Lord. Shipped in pieces on a flatbed, staring backwards was his big head. Drivers caught in traffic backups, desperately avoiding eye contact. Well, don't you make no graven images. I think it's one of the Ten Commandments. I hope the grading curve is kindly. They get into heaven with a 90. Big butter cheese and sweet cream. Here we go. Oh, country fresh. Unsalted. Oh, promise. Imperial. Can't believe it. Holy, oh Lord. Well, about a year and a half ago, I, I woke up in the morning. I had a, about 150 messages on my cell phone. I had uh, 400 te emails and. About a thousand people on Facebook telling me that there had been a, a tragedy. I need to write a new verse to the songs. <laughs> Big butter Jesus got hit by lightning and it burned to its frame wire in a giant grease fire. Some blamed it on Satan and boy, that would be frightening. But I think it's Jesus' Father who's in charge of the lightning. Big fireball 
Jesus. Extremely flammable Jesus. Oh, charbroil Jesus. Whoop Jesus. Extra crispy Jesus. Bananas foster Jesus. Holy smoke, it's Jesus. Charcoal is some more. Holy smoke, it's Jesus. Oh, 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 they, oh, no. oh. Because when Craig's inside, we'll party all day and night. I don't turn water into wine, but into cold Coors Light. I'm not my brother, I know. No one got H2O, but I got hydroponic shit that me and Judas grow. I'm fucking Craig. I'm fucking Craig. I'm fucking Craig. Craig. Those dudes are totally gay. <laughs> Jesus performs miracles from Galilee to Rome. But it would be a miracle if he brought a fucking lady home. <laughs> because while Jesus is praying, fucking Craig is laying. Every lady in the testament, you know what I'm saying. I won't die for your sin like my famous kid. But if you got a little sister, then there's room at this end. I'm fucking Craig. I'm fucking Craig. I'm ba -ba -ba. Craig Christ. Jesus was our mother's faith. All her love to him she gave. There's no sibling rivalry when he's nailed to that tree, yeah. And now the question for you is not what would Jesus do, but where will you be when the Craig machine comes partying through? And if the Lord would allow, you got to ask yourself how and who and why and when and where is your Messiah now? It's fucking Craig, fucking Craig. Sweet Craig machine. We have a youngster right in front of me that's gonna do well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how old are you, young lady? Ten. Ten. We're dead. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say you're sitting on your, your mum's lap? Oh, oh, maybe your sister's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's good. But, but you didn't actually try and get in and like on an infant's fee, did you? Like you paid full price, didn't you? Because we can kick your ass out. Yeah. <laughs> no, we won't do that. <laughs> and that's the first swear word of the evening for you, too. Ass. Ass. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, have you seen the King Kong movie? You haven't? Uh, Too young? Bet old enough to see this. <laughs> Should be interesting. Strange <laughs> family. <laughs> Has anyone else seen the King Kong movie? Yeah, you've seen it? Did, what did you think? You liked it? You liked it. It was long, wasn't it? Yeah, we thought it was long. We thought it took a while to get going. Bom bom. Bom bom. This is my favourite bit of the song. Bom bom. I feel like I'm in Sesame Street. Bom bom. Bom bom. Helps if you imagine us as cabbages. Bom bom. Bom bom. Actually, do that for the rest of the show. It works really well. Bom bom. Bom. Don't get me wrong. I love Jack Black. Adrian Brody is great. Bom, bom. Naomi Watts is delightful, my friends. But bom, I didn't bom. come here to see any of them. Oh, get to the fucking monkey. Get to the fucking monkey. Get to the fucking monkey. Monkey. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love Lord of the Rings. Meet the Feebles was great. Don't get me wrong. Heavenly creatures, I do recommend, uh, but I didn't uh, come here uh, to see uh, any. Get, get to the get to the fucking monkey. Get to the fucking monkey. Get to the fucking monkey. And he said this is great in real life, but he's not who I paid my twelve bucks for. Don't get me wrong. So long and I haven't seen come. It's not brain surgery, is it? Why can't it just be something like this? Opening credits. We're in a boat. There's an island in the distance. We hear a roar. It's King Kong. He jumps on the boat and starts smashing stuff. End of act one. Act two, the whole middle section of the film goes for about 10 minutes. Naomi Watts doing gymnastics. <laughs> Act three, New York. King Kong starts smashing stuff. There's a short sex scene between King Kong and Naomi Watts. Uh, it's tasteful though, uh, it's behind a screen. You just see it in silhouette. <laughs> Suddenly, Roy Scheider appears. He throws a cylinder of oxygen into King Kong's mouth and he shoots him and he explodes the end. Get to the fucking monkey! Get to the fucking monkey! Other films which would benefit from getting to the motherfucking monkey! <laughs> Titanic! <laughs> Opening scene. Iceberg smash! Sinking, sinking, sinking! Drown, Leo, drown! Roll credits. Boogie Nights. <laughs> Opening credits. We see his cock. <laughs> the end. Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. Original 1977 cinema release. Perfect. Hey. Don't change it. <laughs> But I can't be bothered with the bus today I'm gonna take my bike Cause once again the tube's on strike The greedy bastards want extra pay For sitting on their ass all day Even though they earn 30k So I'm standing here in the pouring rain Where the fuck's my fucking
big train London Underground They're all lazy, fucking useless cunts London Underground They're all greedy cunts I want to shoot them all with a rifle All they say is please mind the doors And they learn that on their two-day course This job could be done by a four-year-old They just leave us freezing in the cold What you smell, what you get Burger King, piss and sweat Roast to death in the boiling heat The tourists treading on your feet Nail bombs on every seat So don't tell me to mind the gap I want my fucking money back London Underground They're all lazy fucking useless cunts London Underground They're all green I want to shoot them all with a rifle la, 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 la. La, 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 la. The floors are sticky and the seats are damp Every platform has a fucking track But the drivers get the day off when We're all late for work again London Underground Well, we're wankers, they're all wankers London Underground Take your oyster card and shove it up your asshole
on the Isle of Skye. I'm nowhere the big and the muffled shy, and the lassies shout when I go by. Down at Fairs, you're through, sirs. Let the wind blow high, let the wind blow low. Through the streets and my kit, I'll go. All the lassies say, hello, down at Fairs, you're through, sirs. A lassie took me to a ball and it was slippery in the hall And I was feared that I would fall for I had me on my trousers Let the wind blow high, let the wind blow low Through the streets in my kit I'll go All the lassies say hello, down to where's your trousers now I went down to London town And I had some fun in the underground The ladies turned their heads around Saying, Donald, where are your trousers? Let the wind blow high, let the wind blow low Through the streets in my kit I'll go All the lassies say hello Donald, where's your trousers? To wear the kilt is my delight It is not wrong, I know it's right The islanders would get a fright If they saw me in the trousers the wind blow high, let the wind blow low Through the streets in my kit I'll go All the lassies say, hello, down up, where's your throws? The lassies want me, everyone will let them catch me if they can You can't take the bricks up a hill and man And I don't wear the trousers Let the wind blow high, let the wind blow low Through the streets in my kit I'll go All the lassies say, hello, down up, where's your throws? Where's your trousers? Donald, where's your trousers? Oh, well, that's the way we sing the song in Scotland. But, of course, the song might have more international appeal, sung something like this. One, two, three, four. Well, just come now from the Isle of Scott. I'm nowhere big in the mouth for shy. The last you shout when I go by. A little wind blow, hop, I let the wind blow Through the streets and walk till I go All the lassies shall go through I don't know how we should do it Oh man, I'm all rock and roll I gotta move it and do it to save my soul Grab your kill and go, go, go I don't know how we should do it A little wind blow, hop, I let the wind blow low Through the ginger rock and roll Oh yeah, go, go, go I don't know how we should do it Hey, don't know Hey, Donald. Hey, just a minute. What are you doing there? Man, I'm rocking it, man. Man, I'm really moving it, man. Well, just you stop rocking it and moving it, man. The song should be sung just exactly like this. Ah, she has come down from the Isle of Skye. I'm going in the mouth of Shy and the last six shows. When I go by, Donald, where's your throws? I just let the wind blow high, let the wind blow low. You know, I was sitting out on the porch the other night reminiscing about the good old days and how my grandson Bobby and I would finish up chores and mosey on into town. Heck, we were poor back then, but we loved window shopping. And I can recall how excited Bobby would get, especially when we stopped by the pet shop, you see. There was this one little puppy that he really took a hankering to. And he'd look up at me and say, Grandpa, if that was my dog, I'd name him Stains, because of that splash of white on his coat. Well, right then and there I made up my mind that I'd get that little critter for Bobby. So the following morning I cashed in the savings bond and brought the little mutt home. Well, darn it, I couldn't tell you who was happiest that day, me, Bobby, or that there dog. And them two were inseparable, why, you'd need a crowbar to separate those two. <laughs> and to this day, I can still hear that boy hollering after that dog. I can still hear him calling, calling out his name. Stage. Call Come stage. stage. I still can hear him calling. Come stage. You know, we don't like talking about it much, but it was that fall and winter that little Bobby took ill. 
And they don't allow dogs at the hospital, so back home you'd find stains on Bobby's bed. <laughs> and I'll never forget the day the dog called and gave us the bad news about Bobby. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw stains lift his sad little dog face from Bobby's pillow. Somehow he knew that Bobby was gone. And I swear to the good Lord that Stains was hearing Bobby calling out one more time from heaven. He just sort of smiled, crossed his paws like he was praying, put his head on the pillow, and passed away. <laughs> Come, Stains. Come, Stains. I still can hear him calling. Come stains, come stains, come stains. I still can hear him calling. Come stains, come stains, come stains.
Don't stick him up your butt. Don't stick him up your butt. Little furry jibble in your booty hole. Don't stick him and you put him in your chest and I won't come out and I'm on a fucking day and I put him in town and I still live up and do 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 up This is the story of a gold medalist, South African sprinter called Oscar Pistorius, who's just four foot five, cause he's got no thighs or knees. He was a poor boy, he had to grow up with Fibula Emilia, I read this on Wikipedia, but they put springs on his stumps, now he's the world's fastest amputee, amputee. Oscar just killed a girl. Shot her through his bathroom door Then shot twenty-five times more Oscar had a nice girlfriend But now he's gone and blown her all away Oscar, ooh I've got an idea why Maybe you were legless at the time at the time of the crime Now you've got no leg to stand on Dear sir, I write this note to you To tell you of me plight And at the time of writing I am not a pretty sight me body is all black and blue, me face a deathly grey And I write this note to say why Paddy's not at work today While working on the 14th floor, some bricks I had to clear Now to throw them down from such a height, it was not a good idea The foreman wasn't very pleased, he being an awkward sod He said I'd have to cart them down the ladders in me hod now Clearing all these bricks by hand, it was so very slow. So I hoisted up a barrel and secured the rope below. But in me haste to do the job, I was too blind to see that a barrel full of building bricks was heavier than me. <laughs> so when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead. And clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. While well, I shot up like a rocket, Till to my dismay I found That halfway up I met the bloody barrel coming down <laughs> Well the barrel broke me shoulder as to the ground it sped And when I reached the top I banged the pulley with me head While I clung on tight though numb with shock from this almighty blow And the barrel spilled out half the bricks fourteen floors below now, when these bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, I then outweighed the barrel and so started down once more. Still clinging tightly to the rope, I sped towards the ground and I landed on the broken bricks that were all scattered round. Well, I lay there groaning on the ground. I thought I'd passed the worst when the barrel hit the pulley wheel and then the bottom burst. Well, a shower of bricks rained down on me. I hadn't got a hope as I lay there moaning on the ground. I let go the bloody rope. <laughs> the barrel then being heavier, it started down once more and landed right across me as I lay upon the floor. Well, it broke three ribs and my left arm and I can only say... But I hope you'll understand why Paddy's not at work today. My lady, give 
its birth today I run to her room right away She smiles with glee Then hands her to me I look at my newborn and say Damn, that's an ugly baby Damn, that's an ugly ass baby I'm feeling quite concerned My semen must have turned Cause damn, that's an ugly baby believe this came from me think her mom did too much LSD she's skinny like a twig at least her nuts are big but the placenta is cuter than she is damn that's an ugly baby god damn that's an ugly ass baby I can't take her home today She'll scare the dog away Cause damn that's an ugly baby And when she smiles I find Shane McGowan comes to mind It makes me want to cry When I look into her good eye I always wanted kids Is it wrong? Fuck you, it's my fucking baby! Then the doctor calls me in Mr. Lynch, she has a twin <laughs> Bam, that's a good looking baby One for two on the good looking babies I almost start to weep now this one we can keep Cause that was an ugly ass Damn, that's an ugly baby Come on everybody, sing along Damn, that's an ugly baby Say fuckers, come on Damn, that's an ugly baby Woo! Damn, that's an ugly baby She's got one good tooth and one ear and one eye And thank God just one nose But it's on her left eye Now doctor, I'm can you guy to guy Would a really, really, really late term Abortion still fly Oh no, my baby Not me I don't want no ugly baby I said damn that's an ugly baby Damn that's an ugly ass baby Thank you! Good night! This is a little uh, love song I wrote some years back. It's actually a sort of a breakup song. Uh, I'd always dedicate it to all the wonderful women who treated me like a load of crap over the years. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's a little, little love song. All right. Woke up this morning and you were gone. I found a note. It said so long. You said this love would last our lives. I hope your face... Breaks out in hives I hope you die A painful death I hope you choke On your next breath You screwed me up You done me wrong I hope you die Before too long I hope you have A heart attack I hope your breasts Get really slack You were my girl But now you're not I hope you die, I hope you rot Cause I don't want to be your friend I only want your life to end You're back in town, someone else's gal I hope you drown in the love canal I hope you die a painful death I hope you choke on your next breath Screwed me up, you done me wrong I hope you die before too long I hope you die before I end this song I hope you die, I really, really hope you die 
<laughs> die, 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 die. <laughs> Get and die. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. They used dogs on me. They used blindfolds. They embarrassed me in the new. They gave shocks to me with electrodes. They deprived me of my food They paraded me around the prison Chained up to other men And with every task One question they asked Over and over and over again They said Aren't you the suicide bomber Who blew up the bus last year I said no, they said yes, I said you're not thinking it through. <laughs> but they went off and thought up some new things to do. So they soaked me with cold water and they left me there overnight. They put outlandish costumes upon me took photographs of my plight. They accused me of brutal behavior whilst they kicked me in the balls. And with every task, one question they asked, echoing off of the cold prison walls, they said, aren't you the suicide bomber? I said no, they punched me, I said think logically And they said you think logically And I said what? Some poor new guy will sit where I sat And he will be forced to wear poo for a hat And so on and so fucking forth, amen Ladies and gentlemen the man song. He's the man. He's the man. I don't take no crap from anybody else but you. I wear the pants around here when I finish with your laundry. Cause I'm a guy you don't want to fight. When I say jump, you say you're yeah, right. I'm the man of this house until you get home. He's the man. He's the man. What I say goes around here, right out the window. <laughs> and I don't want to hear a lot of whining, so I'll shut up. <laughs> the sooner you learn who's boss around here, the sooner you can give me my orders, dear. Because I'm head honcho around here, but it's all in my head. He's the man. He's the man. And I can have sex any time that you want. <laughs> Cause I'm a man who has needs, but they're not that important. <laughs> and don't expect any flowers from me, cause if I'm not mistaken, you prefer jewelry. <laughs> I'm the king of my castle when you're not around. <laughs> He's the man. He's the man. And I'll drink
they can watch sports whenever I want to get in trouble. <laughs> and I'll come home when I'm good and ready to sleep on the couch. Because <laughs> a man's got to do what a man's got to do. And I'm going to do what you tell me to. Because I'm top dog around here. But I've been neutered. <laughs> Fingered Jenny and Paul fingered Penny and Phil fingered Anna Melissa and Tom fingered Tess and then John fingered Jess, although he still refuses to kiss her. And Rachel got fingered by Rodney behind the maintenance shed, but then she told Chelsea, who told everyone else, and now she's being fingered instead. Well, Scott fingered Sandy and Mike fingered Mandy and Joe fingered Jill, we suspected. Rick fingered Anita and Claire fingered Peter, it wasn't quite what he expected. <laughs> and Sally got fingered by Simon when she fell asleep on the bus. And when she came to, Simon said he came to. <laughs> and nobody got it but us. <laughs> well, Bob fingered Betty and Will fingered Becky, she told us that he tried to fist her. <laughs> And George fingered Jen, and then what about Ken? Well, I heard that he fingered his sister. And Catherine got fingered by Cameron, whose hands he refuses to rinse. And Sue's on the shelf, so she fingered herself, and she's been a lot happier since. Well, Chris fingered Chloe, and Craig fingered Kate at the party where Ben fingered Bridget. He told me outside he was unsatisfied because she limited him to one digit. Selfish. And Lisa got fingered by Lucas, but she dumped him and went off with Jack. So Luke fingered her friend until Lisa began to feel jealous and lingered, waiting to be fingered until Lucas wanted her back. Now, some of you are laughing, and I appreciate that very much. However, some of you are looking a little mortified. So I want to pause the, the song here, and I'm looking around the room tonight, and I'm going to say, on average, with one or two exceptions, every single person here is over 18, and hence, I've concluded, everyone in this room has been a fingerer or a fingery at some point in your lives. So look at me all disappointed if you like, sir, but let he or she, who's without fingering, cast the first stone. Ron fingered just into the long-distance sprinter. He blinked for a second and lost her. And so many boys have been fingering Josephine, she had to set up a roster. <laughs> and Carla got fingered by Kieran as she was plaiting her hair. And when Lee fingered Liesel, he stuck up a cheesel. And some people say it's still there. <laughs> well, Locke fingered Lily and Matt fingered Millie and Ken fingered Kim and got stuck. And Mark fingered Mary, but that's not as scary as that guy who fingered a duck. I saw you. And Alice got fingered by Andrew. He used a four-color pen. I know it's creative, <laughs> but poor little Ingrid, she didn't get fingered until she had got to year 10. <laughs> Randy, Randy, I'm sorry. I know we've done a lot of shows this year to get the... Show me your heart, will you open it wide? Expose the raw nerves, will you let me inside? Can you tear down the wall, for the mortar has dried? Will you show me your heart, will you let me inside? There's not to infer and nothing applied I literally mean Will you let me inside? I'm at your front door It's not open, I tried It's cold as balls out here Let me inside You know when it's dark I get terrified Come on, seriously, will you let me inside? Think I just saw a possum all beady-eyed Those things fucking scare me, please let me inside Are you angry with me? 
Are you preoccupied? Are you taking a shit and can't let me inside? I can smell from the kitchen the food that you've fried. I've had half of a power bar. Let me inside. How can this situation be rectified? Hey, here's an idea. Fucking let me inside. Tried to climb through your window, but I was too wide. You should get bigger windows or let me inside. Are you with the new guy that you're trying to hide? Girl, I'm down for a threesome. Just let me inside. Okay, that's the last straw. I'm a man. I've got pride, and my toesies are freezing. Please let me inside. Will you show me your heart? Will you open it wide? Expose the raw nerves. Will you let me inside? Can you tear down the wall? For the mortar has dried. Till then, I'll be sitting here waiting out. When you read, you start with A B C. When you drink, you start with Do Re Mi. Do buys beer. It buys me beer. Re, the guy who sells me beer. Me, the one. Who drinks my beer? Far, a long way to the John. So I'll have another beer. Lager, lager, lager beer. Tea, no thanks. I'll have a beer that will bring us back to do 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 do. Buys beer, it buys me beer. Ray. The guy who sells me beer, me the one who drinks my beer, far a long way to the John. So I'll have another beer, lager, lager, lager beer. Tea, no thanks. I'll have a beer that will bring us back to do 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 do. Buys beer, it buys me beer. Ray, Ray, the guy who sells me beer. Me, me, the one who drinks my beer. Fa, fa, a long way to the John. So, so I'll have another beer. La, lager, lager, lager beer. Tea, tea, no thanks. I'll have a beer that will bring. How's your home, family, how's your home, family, how's your home, family, how is your whole family, how's your home, how's your home, family, how's your home, how's your home, family.
Won't you do my ass? Won't you do his ass? Trilogical chart, won't you do my ass? Won't you do his ass? Trilogical chart, won't you do my ass? Won't you do his ass? Trilogical chart, won't you do my ass? Trilogical chart. Suck on a stiff cock. Stiff cock. Tail with me. Suck on a stiff cock. Stiff cock. Tail with me. Suck on a stiff cock. Stiff cock. Tail with me. Suck on a stiff cocktail with me How's your hole? How's your hole? Family, how's your hole? Tell me how's that great big hole? Family, how's your hole? How's your hole? Family, how is your hole? kind of an odd song for you, um, so I like to... <laughs> like to mix it up a little bit. And, uh... <laughs> when I was a young boy, I'd climb into my bed. My mother would turn off the light and pat my little head. She'd speak of lessons she had learned, important wisdom passed along. Then she'd stand in my shadow room and sing this little song. Never trust a puppet. Puppets are untrue. No matter what the puppet says, he don't care about you. Never trust a puppet. Puppets are insincere Somehow everyone finds out 
what you whisper in a puppet's ear. <laughs> Taking things that didn't belong to it. And saying inappropriate things at my parents' parties. And one night when I was asleep, the puppet ran away. <laughs> Never trust a puppet or the feelings that they share. There is something not quite right in a puppet stare. Never give your heart to a puppet. Always stay on your guard. Puppets will betray you. Puppets are really weird. When I was a tiny girl, my aunt had a little lamp puppet. She would use it as an oven mitt and take a hot casserole out of the oven. Then she chased me around the house with the puppet on her hand, screaming, I burnt my tongue! I burnt my tongue! Never trust a puppet. Puppets are a truth. No matter what the puppet says, we don't care how you. Oh, that's a pretty song. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Bo Burnham. Uh, thanks. Um, welcome to my show. It's called uh, If You Sing Along, I'll Fucking Kill You. Uh, this is a song. Every time I go to dinner, seems like I'm getting a little bit thinner. I'll sit down at the breakfast table. I can talk, they're not able. When I look at them, I find there's a single question on their mind. I wish I could go back to the way it was. It's not easy now because... My whole family thinks I'm gay I guess it's always been that way Maybe it's cause of the way that I walk Makes them think I like boys <laughs> And I like boys <laughs> The goddamn question just won't go away And I get asked every single day But the way they ask it is not a disguise Like, uh, how was your day? Do you like to kiss guys? That's funny this is the worst, baby, this is my fear Now their opinions are crystal clear Because my whole family now is shocked I'm in the closet and the door is locked Now my glory days are gone I was John Elway, now I'm Elton John and My whole family now suspects That watching Spongebob had side effects I'm not gay and that's what I said If I'm gay, hey God, strike me dead you know? <laughs> Cause I'm afraid of the snow Or my favorite color is the rainbow <laughs> I don't mean to yell, but I fear I must Cause I'm losing the people that I thought I could trust Because even my boyfriend thinks I'm gay 
motherfucker. You all probably think I'm gay. Man, this song is counterproductive. La 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 la. Because my whole family thinks I'm gay. What do they know anyway? You gotta look right through the haze. Easy Bake Oven was just a phase. And my whole family thinks I'm queer. That is all I ever hear. But I've been as straight as a ramp. If you don't count Bible camp. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Uh, hey, so those ASU girls are pretty hot. Any of you? Any of you know? Okay, this isn't a great example, but... Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's a you're in the dark. I couldn't see you, I bet you're gorgeous in the dark. Um, you like my shirt? Um, back home they call me the tie-dye shirt kid. Well, that and faggot. Um, Want to have some quality time with my son So I brought him down to the fishing hole Didn't like the feeling of that worm in his hand Got mad Threw down his fishing pole Said that's alright son Let's go and get an ice cream Let your old man buy you a treat But he didn't like no flavors Up upon that wall Started crying And ran into the street He's an asshole My kid's an asshole I swear it just don't float my boat Always crying Always crying Made me want to punch him in his little throat I called my lady up to tell her what had happened How our son had run away She said, don't worry, baby, I will talk to him And everything will be okay My lady's an asshole She's an asshole Her assholishness is off the charts Always perfect, always perfect Made me want to punch her in a lady part I decided I'd go down to the bar And drown my sorrows in a beer But the sign outside said close for renovations We'll open up again next year That bar is an asshole It's an asshole Oh, the worst bar in the land Always closing, always closing Can't punch a bar cause you hurt your hand I went home to forget about my troubles Sat down in my favorite easy chair But I couldn't relax for the pain I was feeling As my hemorrhoid began to flare My asshole's an asshole A real butthole Needs to put his asshole self in check Always burning, always itching Made me want to punch him in his asshole neck One night, lying awake in bed mm, A realization came Are there really assholes everywhere I look? Or am I the one to blame? Maybe I just do not say the things I should say And I don't do the things I ought So I took a good hard look at myself in the mirror and this is what I thought The guy who sold me this mirror is an asshole He's an asshole Son of a bitch said he was antique He was lying, he was lying Made me want to 
want to punch him in a salesman cheek I'm on a real asshole street I could open up an asshole boutique I think the song has reached its peak Goodbye you asshole, see you next week I'd like to do a song for all the daddies now and I got this from my friend Michael Barrett, the same gentleman who wrote Mom's Lullaby. He's been looking out for the dads. My father came here from his home in Ireland. He was quiet, but they said that he was wise. He and mother did their best, gave us a home and all the rest. But to talk to us, he never had the time. Sure he'd say, pass the butter, or come here, young man, or keep quiet, or no, you can't have a dime. Until the day that I was leaving, when Dad finally found a reason for sharing his philosophy of life. He said, a monkey fart should smell like a banana. <laughs> English fart should smell like cups of tea. The farting of a fairy should be very light and airy. When a father farts, I hope you'll think of me. An Irish fart should always lilt with laughter It should melt your heart and melt your shorts as well A lion's fart should roar with power Cuckoos should fart every hour A nun's fart should have meaning but no smell A strong man's fart should sound out like a trumpet A pretty girl's should barely even squeak But the person you can trust Is the one who'd rather bust than ever let one rip right on the street. <laughs> now from my old man, this really was an earful. I tried to understand just what he meant. His words were primitive but strong, so I wouldn't get them wrong. He was saying to be careful as I went. He was saying to be happy as I could be. He was saying, watch my step and as I pass, Beware who I looked up to and whatever else I might do Know that most of what you get from folks is just escaping gas <laughs> He said a monkey fart should smell like a banana <laughs> English fart should smell like cups of tea Sorry. The farting of a fairy should be very light and airy When a father farts I hope you'll think of me an Irish fart should always lilt with laughter It should melt your heart and melt your shorts as well A lion's fart should roar with power Cuckoos should fart every hour A nun's fart should have meaning but no smell A strong man's fart should sound out like a trumpet A pretty girl's should barely even squeak But the person you can trust is the one who'd rather bust than ever let one rip right on the street. Smell like piss. Won't 
lay my head back, you try to kiss. Sit on my face, cause I ain't too picky and ride my mouth to puss get sticky and all. How out. Sit on my face, cause I ain't too picky and ride my mouth to puss get sticky and all. How out. Improv there at the end, buddy. I that wasn't on the paper. I just wrote that just now. <laughs> but this song, for the most part, is a true story. In a quiet lab, back in old D.C., there's a man who works for an agency in what some would say is a mighty strange career. He takes a bottle of ketchup and pours it out real slow. Then he uses his watch to see how fast it will flow. And the government pays him 70000 a year. Sometimes comes out fast And it sometimes comes out slow And it helps the time to pass When he listens to the radio And sometimes when he's really bored He'll pretend he's Captain Kirk This is your tax dollars at work We're going slow for the space program So they asked for a quarter million dollar grant To send a sweet potato to outer space And at Washington University Some professors got a federal subsidy To observe the way that earthworms defecate Sometimes comes out fast And it sometimes comes out slow And what these guys are trying to find Heaven only knows I wonder how we'll benefit From the fruits of this research This is your tax dollars at work 
they've expended funds to the Pentagon so they could buy a $2,000 John or a coffee pot for the price of a Monet. And Andre Serrano got his start by pissing in a bucket and calling it art and receiving 30 grand from the NEA. Subsidize some artsy fartsy fecal fetish jerk. <laughs> it's all your tax dollars at work. And for several weeks, Congress went on hold for a filibuster on gun control by the Republicans and some Democrats from the South. Well, instead of paying 20 million bills, buying fertilizer for their district's fields, we should use the stuff that comes out of their mouth. And it sometimes comes out fast, and it sometimes comes out slow. And all the while, the government payroll is shelling out tons of dough. Whether it's a two-faced hack or the postman gone berserk, it's all your tax dollars at work. And in Washington, they've got limousines while they say they feel our pain. But the mayor doesn't feel anything cause he's smoking crack cocaine. <laughs> Never knew that sex and drugs was a governmental perk. It's all your tax dollars at work. This is your tax dollars at work. doesn't bother me much cause the embalmer did such a lovely job a lovely job she's a month dead and she's starting to smell but if loving a corpse is a sin I'll see you in hell
We do have a song to play now. It's actually a love song, which we wrote recently. Yeah, didn't we? That's all we're here to go. Okay. <laughs> You're always nagging me to pick up my clothes. You make me clean behind my ears and in between my toes. You're on about the toilet seat and you think my cooking's bland. I loved you better when you were a man. We met 15 years ago on the same football team. You used to drink Vic Bitter, not Bailey's Irish Cream. You once rocked with Bonzi, now it's all Kenny G. I loved you better when you stood up to pee. Technology and silicon have helped you find the truth. The hormone treatment's working and your breasts are living proof. Now I call you Doris, I used to call you Dave. You're beautiful, though you still shave. Take it, John. Rusty. That's all I got. Things have changed since you went under the knife You once were my best man, now you're my wife You still can't undo a bra with just one hand I loved you better when you were a man You used to scratch your testicles, now you keep them in a Whenever life gets you down Keeps you wearing a frown And the gravy train has left you behind And when you're all out of hope Down at the end of your rope And nobody's there to throw you a line If you ever get so low That you don't know which way to go Come on and take a walk in my shoes Never worry about a thing, got the world on a string Cause I've got the cure for all of my blues All of his blues I take a look at my enormous penis And my troubles start a melting away I take a look at my enormous penis And the happy times are coming to stay I gotta sing and I dance when I glance in my pants I end the feeling like a sunshiny day I take a look at my enormous penis And everything is going my way A sunshiny day I take a look at my enormous penis and everything is going my 
my way. My cows are monsters. Everything is going my way. My meat is harder. Everything is going my way. Size doesn't matter. Everything is going my way. Brothers and sisters, come hear my desperate tale. I speak of our friends of nature, trapped in the dirt like a jail. Vegetables live in oppression, served on our tables each night. This killing of veggies is madness. I say we take up the fight. Salads are only for murderers. Coleslaw's a fascist regime. Don't think that they don't have feelings Just cause a radish can't scream I've heard the screams of the vegetables Watching their skins being Having their insides Paraded and steam with no burning of calories How do you think that feels? Bad it hurts really bad Carrot juice constitutes murder And that's a real crime It's time to stop all this burning. It's dirty as let's call a spade. A spade is a spade. I saw a man eating celery, so I beat him black and blue. If he ever touches a sprout again, I'll bite him clean in two. I'm a political prisoner, trapped in the windowless cage. I stop the slaughter of turnips by killing five men in a rage. I told the judge when he sentenced me, this is my finest hour. I'd kill those farmers again just to save one more cauliflower. I've heard the screams of the vegetables, watching their skins be having their insides repeated and steamed. No mercy of calories. How do you think that feels? Bad it hurts really bad. juice constitutes murder. And that's a real crime. Houses, prisons, for slaves. Let my vegetables It's time to stop all this garden. It's dirty as Let's bad. call a spade. A spade is a spade. Is a How low as people do we dare to do? Making young broccoli. I'm tired of beans, I'm cage of tomatoes, let honey plants free. Don't mash that potato, no, spare the spider, eat a cow, they're so dumb. I've heard the screams of the vegetables, watching their skins be feeds in the stir fry, are rated and steamed with no mercy. You fat gourmets, how do you? Come on, kids, you got matches. Carrot juice constitutes murder. V8 genocide. Houses, prisons, for slaves. Right on, brother. Almost a time to stop all this garbage. Take up macrame. It's called a spade. A spade is a spade. 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 Is a spade.